Breeding season is here. Kind of made a last minute decision here. Look at all these characters. Look at all these chickens. Look at all. Brooks, your chickens have gotten so big. So big. Look at all these chickens. Lots of interesting chickens for sure. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Cora. Hey, pretty girl. Good morning. I see you too. Oh, and there's Betty. Good morning, Betty. Maya, everybody. Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Customers Bison. We are at the Ponderosa Barn. Got Marissa with me, the hired hand, to uh, try to help me along today. What we're gonna do is uh, kind of made a last minute decision here. We've got this hay meadow and it's beautiful right now. And we've had, I think, two cuttings off of it, one or two. I think last year it produced 27 bales of hay. Now we were in a hard drought last year, but uh, it helped, you know, it helped us get uh, our amount of hay that we needed. But what I've did was with that hay meta is, and with our situation with Dunbar and the Hoss herd, and then Big Joe and them being up front, they're right down here. Breeding season is here. And one of the things I'm going to do is I've got to get Dunbar and Hoss off of the burn unit. It's time for that to let the native come in and actually get to its full potential before we put them before we ever put them back out there and like i talked about in, in a video before is we have to leave that minimum height of our native grasses at six to eight inches a minimum height so what i'm doing is i am scrambling around we dragging her along with me we are scrambling around we've got to fix some fence my aunt and uncle's place connects to our hay meadow i think the hay meadow is 30 something acres maybe but it is perfect right now for grazing so what we're thinking is instead of getting hay cut off of it we can purchase hay locally like we've been doing and by this season it's the, we've had some rain this season already uh the hay should be a little bit better um, i don't know how expensive it'll be but we're gonna count on purchasing hay and what we're going to do with this hay meadow, if we can hustle, what we're going to try to do is finish some fence, got to cut some two and seven eighths pipe and do some welding, build the fence through this one section behind my aunt and uncle's house. And we'll be able to let them roam on this hay meadow. And this will be the last piece of our land, part of the ranch here, Ponderosa, that uh, bison will be on for the first time as bison owners there's probably bison on it roamed it hundreds of years ago bison probably roamed this hay meta but it'll be the last piece of land where there's never been our bison as far as since we've been here at the ponderosa so we are getting to work right now and the project starts all part of project 189 if you don't know what project 189 is it's the entire holistic approach to getting this place all ready for bison and to be able to handle bison for a long time and what does that have to do with the majority of fencing let's get after it jeez just torched my hand off nearly you're laughing about it seems like it maybe needs a little got a little build up here let me see it I'll yeah, I think maybe no gloves is dangerous. Oh! Just a little soot. Who 
who used this last anyway? Me. <laughs> Okay, how long are we cutting these? 10 feet long. It gives us four-ish feet to drive it in the ground. We like to, with a driver, push driver, at least try to get four feet in the ground. So we can add these extensions because on your 30-foot joints, you have an extra piece left over if you cut them sometimes at nine and a half, you know, nine and a half all the way down. You're left with a couple of feet left over so you have a little chunk here. As long as this is short enough to go in the ground and not sticking up after you drive it, you can add these leftover pieces on by screwing them together to make sort of take a scrap piece into a full piece. So when you drive it in the ground, that collar gives you an extension. So three foot of it will be Actually, four foot will be in the ground. So from here down, it'll be in the ground. Betty, are you going to help today too? <laughs> huh? Are you going to help, Betty? We're locked and loaded. Ready to rumble. Ready to rumble. This is for our cabins project. Don't pay attention to that. Cut a couple of sticks of two and three eighths. Got 12 two and seven eighths pipe pre-cut. Got my brother-in-law's welder from Arms Family Homestead. Daniel, he always lets me weld, use his welder. And we have Marissa behind the ATV. This is all headed to the back side of the property. Let's go. kind of hungry are you can we go eat lunch first maybe marissa let us go eat lunch first see guys i want to tell you something i have to eat if i don't eat lunch and marissa knows this i struggle the rest of the day i get cranky i get tired really easy and honestly i don't have a lot of energy we spend a lot of time outside at the ranch or at the cabins and so i'm so glad somebody did this also owned by hellofresh got factor right here Guys, this is so easy for what we live a fast paced life. When you have a daughter and you have to pick her up from daycare at the end of the day, you've got to get all of your work done within a timely matter and be efficient, as my wife would like to say. So this with factor right here with these fresh meals, already pre-made meals that are so delicious and there's so many options. It's easy because the great thing about it, whether you want to eat lunch or for dinner, Factor can meet those goals right here by delivering fresh, never frozen meals. If I'm in a hurry, you can throw this in the microwave and have a gourmet meal in two minutes. Oh, Marissa's gonna have the jalapeno lime and cheddar chicken. I'm going with the black pepper and sage pork chop. Guys, I'm eating this for lunch. It's all right here, it's so easy. It's already packed in, not frozen. This is a fresh meal, guys. I'm gonna throw this in the microwave because we're kind of in a hurry right now getting back to the ranch before we have to pick up Brooke. So gotta get this fence built. It's so convenient for times like this. Let's eat. Factor supports wholesome eating made simple. Their menus are updated weekly and include 27 plus meals and 33 plus add-on options. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based on your taste preferences and meal history. Meal plans range from four to 18 meals per week and you can add more or reduce the number depending on your specific needs. Factor also provides great smoothies as well, which is something I like to have in the mornings on my way to the ranch. Oh, strawberry banana. 
I love a strawberry banana. No fast food, no takeout. Then you have to go to the grocery store, which takes a lot of time. You don't have to prepare your meals. This is a dang good lunch for uh, working on the ranch. I just want to thank Factor for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget about the awesome lunch I had, guys. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code BISON50 to get 50% off your first box. We kind of changed our minds what we want to do after lunch. And so what we decided to do, since the big Joe herd came up close to us, Marissa and I are going to let them in our trap. And then we're going to do some gate cutting to try to catch some of these calves um, that we've been needing to sort off. Um, so we're going to do that real quick. Huh? I don't even move the ATV. It's kind of in the way. Yeah, I will back up. What? You got to make it run for you. You got to try to move it. What? me to drive? Yeah, I'll hop in. Am yeah. I reversing? Yeah, get it ready for reverse. Are you, well, are you pulling it towards you or are you pushing it out? Pushing it. Okay. Reverse, reverse, sorry. Oh, wow. Well, it wasn't. You it, don't even have it in reverse? I had it in reverse, but sometimes the gears don't. They know where to go. <laughs> They've been in here, they see a blue feeder and they're taking a straight line to it. <laughs> here comes Nora. Mama was waiting for him. I like having the bison up here in the front. People can drive by and see them. And if some of you have ever been to the Ponderosa, they'll know what I'm talking about. We have a main road that comes down our drive that goes to the lake so lots of people can see the bison from here. And I'll let them come in here in this, I don't know, one or two acre uh, corral. This is what we call our main corral. This is where when we go to work them, they come in here and then we move them into uh, some smaller pens before we uh, deworm them and get all their new tags when we work them and all that fun stuff. We got the pipe cut to length and ready to be driven. Richard, our neighbor, our, the, guys, the guy that helps us build fence is going to drive them for us, which is going to be awesome. And uh, then we're going to do the rest and hopefully knock this out. And uh, we, we got the pipe hauled over to my aunt and uncle's and that uh, will be ready. Once it's driven and you weld those T's and those H's, those H braces together, the T post and building the fence is fast and hanging the gate. It's just setting the pipe, welding it together and your down braces too. And it goes fast after that. So once we do that and patch a little fence here and there, we're going to be able to let those bison out where there's never been bison before. Now, I always say there's probably been bison actually out there before, but not since we've owned bison here at the Ponderosa. Hundreds of years ago, there probably were some that roamed there. It's one of my favorite places on this property. It's so beautiful, the old hay meta. So 
it's gonna become a pa bison pasture and uh, my aunt and uncle got the best view basically their backyard is gonna where they're is where they're gonna see the bison so once we get them there uh, i think it'll be great dunbar and hoss will be right into prime time breeding season plenty away from the big joe herd so anyways got a lot done i want to thank my wife for her help today she's awesome tagging along with me and uh she does a good job and she also helps filming does film for me when my hands are full it's much safer when you have another person with you that can help you film so thank you guys for watching us we'll see you guys soon <laughs>